hello guys in this video i'm going to show you an interesting project called as atomic agents the atomic agents framework is designed to be modular extensible and easy to use if you go through their github repo there is an architectural diagram in which the components of atomic agent is shown components in this framework should always be as small and single purpose as possible similar to design system components in atomic design Atomic Design is a framework quite famous from Brad Faust, if you are aware of it. Even though Atomic Design cannot be directly applied to AI agents architecture, but a lot of ideas in this project were taken from that blog post. The resulting framework provides a set of tools and agents that can be combined to create powerful applications. The framework is built on top of another tool and structure and also leverages the power of Pydantic for data validation and serialization there is also a workflow as how exactly this works in which these green boxes are the ones where it is always feeding to llm and the blue ones there is it feeds to llm that is calling the agent and the agent is in the middle just doing a lot of stuff here and there calling the tools calling the functions and then receiving the data and passing it through so this video we are going to get it installed locally and then we will play around with it one thing um, the github says that the repo of this project says that it works with a lot of api based llms and also with olama i couldn't really find any clear instructions around olama one so i'm not going to um, go with olama that would be good by the way but i will just go with open ai so you would need a API key for that so go to platform.openea.com and grab your key unfortunately that is a paid option if you want to go with mistral ai or anthropic you can also use their keys to use the cloud model or mistral model but if you don't have credit you would have to pay for it so i think just a suggestion uh, i think it would be good that ulama should be the default here and they should have proper clear instructions on the main page as how to get it installed with olama that will really open up this project anyway so let's get right into it let's get it installed before i do that let me give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sp sponsoring the vm and the gpu which i'm going to use for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to put a coupon code which will give you 50% further discount on an already great offering. So please do check them out. This is Ubuntu VM, which I'm going to use for it. And this is a GPU card, 48 GPU VRAM, which I'm using for this. You don't need that much GPU, by the way, because we'll be using OpenAI's API key. So that will be an API based operation. Also, I have Conda installed to keep everything nice and separate from my local installation let's clear the screen and let's create the conda environment i'm just calling it atomic agent let's wait for it to finish and then we will tap into this conda environment and you can see that in the parentheses on the left let me clear the screen now there are two ways of installing this atomic agent one is you can simply do with pip install which is a recommended way like this or you can even build it through the source by um going into the github repo cloning it and then you know requirement require installing all the requirements and stuff so let's wait for it to get installed it won't take too long everything is installed and let me clear the screen and now you would need to set your open AI's api key so just put your key here and then uh, your environment should be set so let me put in my key and then I will clear the screen and let's also install our open AI API library and instructor instructor is simply a Python library which enables you to have a structured output from LLM it's quite lightweight I think I already had it so let's clear the screen so that is all there is to it for the prerequisite installations now let me launch my python interpreter and then we will import all the libraries which we have just installed all the libraries are imported now we are going to define a system prompt 
inf information including background steps and output instructions this helps the chatbot understand how to respond to user inputs and if you see here on the screen we are defining a system prompt that asks the chatbot to respond to user input in rhyming verse and the structuring of the system prompt is loosely inspired by patterns in the fabric library as per the uh, notebook which they have shared so this is the system prompt here now next up let's initialize it and i mean the system prompt generator that is done and then also grab the markdown to make things look prettier and let's also initialize the system generators prompt with this markdown and that is also done let's initialize the chat memory to store conversation history and load an initial greeting message so first let's instantiate it by doing chat memory and then let's give it an initial memory which is this where the content or prompt is how do you do what i can do for you tell me pray what is your need today so that is just the rhyming which i mentioned earlier and then you can load it by simply doing the load function so we already have set up our open AI api key and you can either set it in the environment and grab it here which is always a good idea or you can even put it in the code now let me uh, quickly clear the screen because just to make things look more easier here i'm just going to use a python lambda to clear the screen okay so that is done now let's we already have grab our key so we are going to grab our key from environment just bear with me while i paste it here so i'm just defining the api key here and checking if api key is set or not if not then grab it from the environment hopefully it should be able to get it from the environment let's check it okay so there is no error it means that it is able to get it from my environment let's also get the client from the instructor for the structured output by using openai that is also done and now let's get the atomic agent and you see that we are just calling that base chat agent with the client with system prompt and that is good that we are using gpt 3.5 5 turbo to save cost and then you can define the main chat loop for testing the chat agent and let me also show you because this chat loop is going to enable you to interact with the chat bot in real time so you see we have printed the agent with its initial memory and then you can just run this loop here which is going to ask you uh, further questions as what exactly you want to do and then because it's a python interpreter so you can ask the question it is going to respond and then it will go on and on and on so this is how it works in the loop and then you can keep asking the question it is going to uh, run in the loop and give you the answer because of the limitations of uh, python interpreter we won't see the model response here so let me put all of the code in a file and then let me take you to my another terminal so what i have done it i have just put everything in this file which i have just showed you so let me get out of here and when i run this now the agent is working so you can ask it here and the loop will continue what is happiness there you go uh how do i get happiness and then you can keep chatting with the agent you can keep asking the agent what you, you could do and it could do the function calling and all that stuff as per this diagram but a very very um, early days of the project i'm more than sure it is going to evolve more especially when we have so much competition from a lot of agentic frameworks out there uh, but the output is quite structured quite terse, concise to the point which is great let me know what do you think about this project i think i will keep an eye on this one to see how it evolves in the future and again i think it would be really good to have olama support to test it with liberty that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed the content let me know if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching